Hi everyone, my name is Dee Rusal, also known as Deja, and today we're going to be talking about some books that I recently read. I have around eight books to talk about today, only because I haven't updated in a while, and I feel like I've been reading a lot of shorter books as well. It's definitely a mix this time. I feel like I had some romance in there, I had like one or two fantasy books, just a lot of like different things. I think overall like my reading experience was average or like okay, but I did have some books in here that I did really enjoy. So without further ado, I will get into talking about these books. So the first book that I read was The Secret Lives of Church Ladies and I listened to this one audiobook and I actually really enjoyed it. Usually short story collections are not for me but for some reason like this one I was really loving the voice of the characters and each story follows a different black woman who is involved in the church in some way. Like I said before I feel like the voice of the characters were just really the thing that did it for me. I really just felt like it was so authentic and even though I didn't really grow up in like a black church like I have heard like so many stories of like so many of the things that the women are going through especially the stories that were exploring the LGBTQ relationships and just like those family dynamics and just that involved with the church. I thought that was just a really good addition to the story and I just really enjoyed like all of the stories like I can't really explain why but I think it is just because like the characters just felt so distinct and like I really like the author's storytelling and so I listened to this one on audiobook and I would definitely recommend doing that I feel like the narrator did a great job with that as well but yes I definitely enjoyed that one and I rated it four stars the next one I read is Daughters of Jubilation which I mentioned in my Spring Has Sprung book tag as the book that made me cry and if that's any indication on how like I felt about this book, I definitely really enjoyed this one. I started reading this one because I participated in a read along with Shay with a Hobby and Miss WLC Reader. And I'm really glad that I joined the read along because I really did enjoy this one. This one is a historical fiction set in the, I want to say the Jim Crow South. I'm not sure which southern state it is, but I feel like it is during the Jim Crow South. And if I'm wrong, I will put that on the screen. But this one follows a teenage girl who has these like magical abilities that's passed down in her family called Jubilation. She is trying to learn about her Jubilation and she's finding this like new like love interest and just all of the teenage summer girl vibes during the Jim Crow South. And I feel like this one was just really good to me because not only did it actually feel like a young adult book, but I feel like the storytelling aspect of like the character's voice was just very distinct and strong and I really liked the generational conversations that were happening in this one and just the relationship between mother and daughter for multiple generations was just a very fascinating concept to me even though this book was set during a time where there was so many like black American just tragedies and just blatant racism and it was just like dangerous to be like a black person I feel like the book it delved into those topics but not in a way that felt like it was just kind of like trauma porn and so I really appreciated that and I really did love like the love story that was happening between the two characters and just I don't know I just really enjoyed it and it made me cry at the end just because like I just felt like it was such a beautiful story and there was just like so many things happening that I was just like oh my gosh like my heart can't take it but I definitely really enjoyed this one and I highly recommend picking it up in the summer. I rated this one 4.5 stars. The only reason why I rated it 4.5 stars instead of 5 stars is because I felt like there was a little bit of like plotting pacing issues but not enough that it deterred my enjoyment overall and it's still 4.5 stars. The next one I actually did rate five stars when I first read it and then upon reread it went all the way down to a three star read and this one is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. This one was such a huge like surprise for me because I absolutely loved Legend Born when I first read it and then when I reread it not only was like the representation of just like black people kind of disturbing me but I feel like the main character is like the dumbest person I have ever read and actually 
actually let me not say that because there's a lot of like dumb YA characters and it's not necessarily because like she's young I just feel like there was people blatantly telling her not to do something or don't associate with those people the black people were telling her not to associate with these people and then she still did it and the next part is kind of a spoiler so I'll put a timestamp on when I'm like done talking about this part but I feel like the other part that was kind of annoying for me is that in the first time that I read it trying to find out what happened to her mother and if the order like the Arthur's order thing had anything to do with her mother's death and then finding out that they didn't actually do anything and that it was an accident I feel like that was like a good thing for me in the first read but now in the second read I absolutely hated it because like I feel like it wasn't really like enough payoff like I was just like okay all these black people are telling you not to be in this order because they're blatantly racist and just like their history is terrible but then I kind of understood in the first read why she was still like going into this trying to figure out like what they did to her mother but then to find out that they didn't actually do anything I was just like okay so you really could have just like listened to all of these black people telling you like you didn't have to be in like this order to like figure out what happened to your mother because they didn't do anything so she just inserted herself into like the order without actually getting anything out of it and now i guess she's the scion of arthur because her ancestor was attacked by a white guy so i just i don't know it just the payoff wasn't really there for me during my first read i feel like what drove me was trying to figure out what happened to her mother and honestly like i read this book when my own brother died so i was still processing my own grief so i think that i felt comforted trying to figure out like what happened and then figuring out that like it was just like an accident and stuff that happened and so that was just a little comforting but upon reread like it just didn't work for me and i also feel like this book had pacing issues this book is i want to say over 500 100 pages and I don't think that it needed to be there was a lot of slow parts and I just feel like it really did not need to be and of course there was like the romance which I was never really a fan of but you know it's young adult so I knew it was gonna be in there but yeah all that to say I'm not picking up the second book because it was such a struggle to even try to finish this one it took me like two and a half months to read this and the first time I read it like it took me a few weeks so I yeah I'm definitely not picking up the second one especially because I heard that the kind of the problems with like the black representation is it's not even good and i'm not really interested in reading the second novel because honestly i feel like the romance is going to overtake the main storyline and i'm not really interested in the king arthur retelling aspect of that so yeah i'm not interested anymore and i thought i would be but I'm not. And then the next book that I listened to on audiobook is set by Alexandria House. This one follows two people who have kind of an arrangement where they just go see each other and just enjoy each other's company in kind of an intimate way. And this one was definitely fine. Like I think if you really want those like steamy scenes like it was good on that front. It also has some like flashbacks kind of like detailing like when they met and then just like how they started this arrangement. I thought that this was a fine book. Like it's not really my kind of thing, but I think if you really are into like those kind of steamy things, then you will definitely enjoy this one. I feel like the character chemistry didn't really like work for me. Like I thought it was fine, but I think the chemistry was mostly on a sexual level, not an emotional level for me, but yeah it was fine so i think i'm going to rate this one three stars because it was fine no strong feelings about it like it was a nice quick read so yeah the next one i read was actually on my anticipated releases for this year and that is black candle woman and this one i don't really know how i'm going to rate it i have very mixed feelings about it a lot of people have been having trouble with like the miscommunication trope which I don't think that that bothered me as much as other people but I will say that it was a little bit annoying to like have all these people in like the same house and nobody wants to tell the youngest girl like just their secrets or something but it is definitely more of like a character study on one hand I feel like I really enjoyed just 
the kind of vibes that it was i just liked being in like the vibes of like being in an apothecary family but yeah i think that was pretty much all i really liked about it like none of the characters really were like strong enough for me to really like like or hate them i think the most interesting character was the grandmother who had all of these flashbacks on like how this curse even like started um in their family and so i thought she was like interesting person to like follow but everyone else i wasn't really invested in and i feel like i wasn't really like invested in like the plot which i don't even know if there really was a plot like it was really just based on like are they gonna tell this youngest girl the secret or not yeah this is just a vibes book so if you want apothecary vibes with like maybe like a southern like hoodoo voodoo feel to it like i feel like you might enjoy this but not really for the plot not really for any of the characters just vibes so yeah this will be probably a three star read for me and the next one that I read is Wash Day Diaries, which I read because I needed some motivation to actually do my wash day. And I really enjoyed this one. I feel like I really liked the artwork in this one and just the diversity of the friends. I definitely laughed out loud at the the one character who was she was plus size and i think she had like two different like guys that were like interested in her and they knew each other and i was just like wow that is like really funny and i thought that that would have been like a very interesting story to either explore further but i knew that this was just like kind of like short stories on like all of these girls in this friend group i also just really like the friendship between all of these women like they are very supportive with each other they have each other's back and i don't know it was just like such a beautiful comforting read like not really anything like plot wise but i just really liked being with all these characters and just seeing them like doing their hair and just all of these facets that come with like getting your hair done and all of that like I just thought it was a comforting read and I really enjoyed it so I feel like I would rate this one four stars and the last book that I read was Red Roses and Regrets and this one is a urban fiction romance I want to say and when I picked this one up I was kind of sampling it because I liked the cover and then I was trying to get a little bit more into urban fiction because I haven't really read that since I was in high school and I remember like I really enjoyed it so I was just trying to like dive in a little bit more and so I started with this one and I started reading it for just like some drama and mess and what I got was actually a little bit more than that which I definitely really enjoyed so this one follows a woman who has been with like this guy for years I want to say his name is David and her name is jasmine or jazzy as yakuba always calls her <laughs> and yakuba is the love interest for jazzy and so when the story starts off it is basically just like some mess like she's about to be proposed to by david and yakuba is there basically about to manhandle david because he stole money for him and then yakuba kidnaps jazzy to get david to give him his money back and so when i first started this i was like oh my gosh i am so here for the mess <laughs> like i i don't know i just needed that palette cleanser because my life has been like such a hot mess i just really enjoyed this one because i feel like i was in a violent mood just towards some people who are really trying my nerves but i think what i really enjoyed about this one is not even just like the mess that like started it like i feel like it was like the two characters jasmine and yokubo like getting together this wasn't just like a steamy book for me although those scenes were also great which i'm very surprised i'm saying because i'm usually like kind of indifferent about them but i actually really like the steamy scenes in this one and i feel like the reason why i like them a little bit more is because i feel like they were connecting a little bit more before they actually became like steamy and so i really liked just like their banter together and like I don't know I just I really just liked Yakuba and Jazzy like I feel like they were just such strong people together and yeah I thoroughly enjoyed myself reading this and I really want the next book because I'm so interested in just like this world that Yakuba is in like 
it's kind of alluded to like what he does but it's not explicit because like they're still like trying to feel jazzy out but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed myself even though there were like some things that i didn't really enjoy for example like i feel like when they were trying to get too deep with each other like it just felt like it was like over explaining things a little bit to me and i also feel like they like when it first like switched chapters like i don't know there was something about the writing that wasn't really like hooking me all the time but yeah i really did like enjoy these two characters and i really am invested in this world now so i'm glad that i can end this video on such a like high note because i really did enjoy this one and i feel like i'm either gonna give this like a four or four and a half star read but that wraps up all of the books that i have read for the last few weeks or so it was definitely a mixed bag this time like some four and a half star reads to like four star reads and below like i just really had a diverse reading experience this time but I'm not mad at it like I still haven't found a five-star read but I feel like I'm getting close to that so yeah let me know if any of these books interested you I would love to hear your opinions about them or even some book recommendations that you have since I am trying to get a little bit more into urban fiction romance or even just urban fiction in general um but yeah that will wrap up today's video i thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye